wake up early in the morning and I think about you. Fuck all them hoes cause I've been making love to you. Hey y'all, so today we're going to be trying out this Foscara by Kiss and we are going to be giving it a review. So, this is their starter kit. It has the tweezers, the bond, the seal, and then the wisps. So there's no wisp per eye, the bond and seal, and then the lash, the lash tweezers. So it says uh, this is a new way to lash. No clumps, no smudges, no strips, no damage, no mistakes. When mascara just isn't enough, you love the look of lash extension, you don't want to deal with strip lashes, this is a new way to lash. You apply the bond, the whisk, the seal, and you're done. So it says if you can mascara, you can fall scare. So that's like the little slogan. And so we're gonna be trying this out, and then I'll got I will give you guys my review. So I've done strip lashes, I went mascara, I've done individual uh lash extensions before. So I'm pretty experienced when it comes to lashes. So the steps, three simple steps, pretty easy. Apply the bond. Apply the wisps under the lash and then seal when you're done. And the sealant removes any sticky layers, little seals, holds the wisps in place. So I'm going to take the bonder. It has biotin in it, so that's good. I'm just going to take it and apply it. On a So I had a mishap, but I am back. So I have a lash out. I'm gonna apply the bonder right here. Grab my lash. pinch the lash to my lashes I like because this bonder is sticky but I do like it because it really um, it just really gripped this lash so this it wasn't hard for me to st struggle to try to get it to stay on or stay in place I pull the lash from out of this little thing put the bonder on and then stick it to Stick the lash to the bonder so that the bonder doesn't dry while I'm, you know, pulling the lash out or whatever the case may be. So I apply some of the bonder. Grab the lash I took out. pinch my lashes to the wisp so what i'm noticing is my lashes are getting with the bonder on them are kind of getting stuck to the tweezers so i have a tissue with alcohol that i'm just using to wipe the tweezers off as i go along so i have one eye done took longer than it should have honestly and I'm about to pile the sealant so I can get that sticky residue off plus I'm on the top too still look really natural and then applying this just made them look even better i'll show you guys a close-up when i'm done i'm gonna do the other eye off camera and then i'll come back and tell you guys my final thoughts 
so I did the second eye. This is the second eye I did. This one looks so, so, so much better than this one. Um, but practice makes perfect. Honestly, after, once I did this eye, all, like, the negativity, the negative thoughts I had kind of went away because I was like, this one came out bomb. And it literally took me, like, three minutes or something. I literally put a little bonder. And then I took the lash, popped it on, squeezed with my fingers. So I definitely recommend carefully pulling the lash out with your fingers with tweezers. Tweezers kind of pull some of the hairs off. So it's up to you when, when you get to that part. And then when you get the la apply the bonder in sections. And when you get the lash on, squeeze it with your fingers. And then apply the conditioner on the bottoms and the tops. And it makes them look more natural for some reason to me. But... I like them a lot. This eye came out really, really good. This eye looks okay. But I definitely like this kit a lot. And I definitely recommend it. If you guys wanting to, are wanting to try lash extensions. Or you are uh, a little experienced with individual lash extensions. Or lash strips or something like that. Then it will be really good for you. Even if you're only experienced with mascara. Uh, once you try it a few times. I think you will be fine. So if you guys like lash and I definitely recommend the Kiss mascara to you guys. So definitely check them out. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you like makeup inspired videos, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you like my type of videos, make sure you subscribe. Bye.